The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back today again. Uh, now we're doing a phantom video today and why it's going almost parabolic. It, I think maybe it's going parabolic. So somebody in comments asked me like, uh, when is this parabola gonna end? And I think I got some clue about it. Like, got this nice indicator over here that we're gonna look at. So maybe I got something interesting to say. Maybe I got something. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so let's get into charts. Make my face smaller, charts bigger, and uh, look what we have here. So basically this indicator down here just measures the distance between certain uh, moving average and the price. So the price would be the line down here and the moving average would be the zigzag line, right? So basically this is the uh, difference between the moving average uh, or 10, 10 moving average and the price line. So as you can see here, this is a daily chart and uh, uh, the price always range in certain uh, certain levels. So when you get these big wicks, uh, sorry, not big, but big moves on the upside, the downside, usually uh, they are not sustainable because uh, the price, uh, think of it like a rubber band. It just like bounces too much and then it has to pull back. So usually when it bounces too much, it usually means that it's coming to end of a move, not end of the price or top or something like that, but end of the move. So it, it, it can tell you uh, some movement, uh, uh, movement ends if you wanna if you wanna call it like that. So let's look at what's been happening here. So you can see this top over here. Let me turn off the magnet. Uh, the top over here, right? Uh, it corresponds to this big top over here, uh, d down here, and you can see it uh, was very extended. And but usually the price ranges in this range over here, right? So it, it, even when it goes up, it uh, gets into this range and these stops over here uh, can indicate that the move is gonna end. So the actual uptrend did not end over here, but this move, the two uh, big candles over here did end and we got a correction uh, downwards and waiting and a movement of the moving average towards the price line, right? So these uh, tops can indicate that uh, some kind of moves are overbought and we need uh, some kind of pullback uh, at least, at least. So when you get this big, uh, par uh, th this looks more like parabolic than this. This is just like straight up uh, up line. You can see here it got way extended from its uh, 10 moving average. And I'm going to show you the 10 moving. That's the white line over here. It got way extended on 10, 10 moving average. And we went back down, hit the 10 moving average right away and uh, was uh, uh, keeping the 10 moving average all the way up here uh, until we broke it. And now we are doing the same thing over again. So right now we are in a uh, steep uptrend on the on on this move and when will this move actually uh, end or not maybe it's already over maybe it's not but it's pretty close it's pretty close so i cannot tell you the exact price it's gonna end but the move is already way extending from the 10 moving average on the daily and you can see here this is unnormal behavior behavior even even for even for phantom so all, all of the lifetime of phantom uh, it broke here here and two times now over here so this big move over here the the start of the rally after the corona right uh, soon correction came up there the top here extended a little bit above above the uh, uh, above the 10 moving average and now we are in this uh, downtrend this was an 80% correction i know you cannot tell but this is actually 80% correction i know because i be checking it see 81% correction uh, that's 81% correction and after that 80% correction it just uh, blew off totally all the way to the top went back to 10 moving average and you can see here it, the the the, uh, the run up wasn't finished the, the move was finished the parabolic move was finished and then it consolidated back to some uh, some levels and started the uh, trade in a range in some kind of pattern right uh, and same thing is gonna happen uh, again because right now we are getting the second parabolic move uh, up up and how far this is gonna go it's hard to tell but we are getting close to the top so it might go all, all, all the way up to one or uh, you know i don't know it might be like this uh, that you get this big huge week uh, up but actually how much you're gonna go up i don't know but we are getting pretty close uh, to being overly extended on some moving averages and that usually mean that this gonna 
it's gonna it's not gonna crash but the move is gonna be finished that's all i want to say about phantom uh, I, I have been bullish on phantom since forever actually i've been bullish on phantom since down here uh, when i started doing the phantom is dead videos i don't know if you you were watching that but you know obviously not dead uh, now uh, we get to the part where you subscribe to the video like the video and watch some other videos why not uh, yeah, Phantom is doing good, man. Phantom's like everything is going down. Phantom is going parabolically up, like it's totally decoupled from everything crypto. Like everything is in red, and uh, Phantom is uh, in uh, gr hard green, hard green. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what this is. Thanks. Maybe, maybe another video later today. Maybe, maybe. Keep on watching. Keep on watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.